Oh my, oh my, oh my. Look how sweet this is. Look how fast I'm scrolling. Not a single blip in the radar. This Raspberry Pi 4, all games, almost 18,000 games with categories, light gun games, Nintendo 64 fully optimized, all the arcade games fully optimized, you know, over 100 PlayStation games, huge PSP, Naomi, Dreamcast collections. I mean, this is... You know, I'm just going to spoil it for you all. This is my favorite recall box image to date. 512 gigabytes on backups.me right now. Exclusive. Um, Wolfenos. Just amazing. Amazing. I've been playing with this all morning. And uh, I'm just so impressed by it. You know, I steer people to cell phones and PCs all the time, especially for N64 emulation and Naomi. But this one is really good. Like this Raspberry Pi 4 is totally handling. Now, it is slightly overclocked to start. You can unoverclock it really easily by pressing start. It does ask you for your controls the minute you turn it on. So it's super user friendly. Like I said, the optimization itself is worth the download. And then it's just got everything on here from Atari all the way up to even Daphne arcade sets, uh, you know, up to a Thomas Webb. Uh, Thomas Wave and Naomi and then as you see when you go into a game you got the box art you got the screenshot and you also have video snaps for a lot of the systems so as you hover hover over you've got this video snap here so uh, beautiful stuff you hit start you got you know anything you've ever wanted just right at your fingertips recall box as I mentioned is super user friendly but uh, I'm just repeating myself at this point. So let's go ahead and jump into it. what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at which games, you know, which systems, which games, and then we're going to do some gameplay and then share my final thoughts. So starting out with all games, we got 17,396, and then first we have 3DO, It's a, so this is an alphabetical order, starting with this, 89 games, and uh, 3DO for the most part plays pretty good on the Raspberry Pi, there are some sound glitches and things like that, but you know, Road Rash is on here, Flashback, a lot of really great games were uh, created for the system, so it's cool to have it. Although not 100% on Raspberry Pi 4, I'd say it's maybe 85, 90%. Amiga 1200, these will run just fine, 1600. Amiga 32, 100 about, just shy of. Amstrad CPC, 756. Atari, look, we have the 8-bit and we have the 5200 too. So uh, pretty much I'm sure all of them are on here, the majority of the games. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, almost 600 for that. And the ST even, woo. Not skipping a beat as far as the systems. A Thomas Wave, we've got 22. Uh, I want to show those games just because they're so large in file size. You might want to know. This this system in particular gets a huge benefit from overclocking. Commodore 64, not a ton, but 700. That's still a, quite a collection. Uh, Fairchild Channel F, 30 games you got on here. You can want to play some Tetris or some Lights Out. Coleco, you got all of 140. Daphne, you got 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And they're all 15. Sometimes people leave duplicates in here and things. They don't clean it up. It's nice and clean in there. Nice. Dreamcast, we got 153. And don't forget, there's also Naomi games on here as well. So if you're missing a game, I did play a little Clarity Taxi earlier. I did play a little Giga Wing, and it was running just fine. Um, as far as bezels, you know, when you're playing the game, it has a little Dreamcast logo. There are system bezels included. That's the kind of the frame while you're playing the game. Okay, so there is a couple, you know, discs there. So maybe a few less, a few less games than anticipated, you know, seven less. And uh, so there you go. That's the um, the settings here. I, oh, I accidentally launched the game there. So as you see here, it does have a boot up screen for his image. But look how fast I go in and out of a game. That's how fast it is. This is real time. I'm not editing that out. So with the Final Burn Neo, you'll notice it's a huge set here. Some people like to separate out more of the MAME style games. And uh, so here he just, anything running on Final Burn is in here. So CPS 1, 2, and 3, there's going to be some um, Neo Geo in here. And there's going to be some uh, arcade games in here as well. So it's a big mix. Uh, but you can easily, you know, add to favorites here, pick the ones you want. I'm just hitting X on my controller, hit select, and then you have your favorites right there. But um, this is where you're going to see the majority of them. But as you scroll down, you'll see the uh, there's a main category as well. 
I did want to finish that thought earlier about uh, bezels. Uh, supposedly, he did put in the inquiry Wolf and Oz to the bezel project. So um, we might see the bezel project, which gives you like the individual uh, bezels per game. We might be seeing those soon. Family computer disk system for 76. Now, I don't think Wolf and Oz adds in the hack games. Um, but you know, I, a lot of people don't even touch those. So, uh, game gear, you got 332. I'm sure you're going to see the entire sets for these. Yeah. 861, all your game boy advanced games, all your game boy color games. So if there's game you're looking for, it's on there. Game and watch 52 Amstrad 25. Intel. So here we go. We have Intellivision 137 Lynx 76, um, MAME 341. So here you have your basketball, kind of more of your arcade classics that's what a lot of these are and again you can hit you know a lot of your shooters shoot 'em ups all in here you got your verse games cool second master system 344 second mega drive also known as genesis 901 So it looks like there are some newer games included on here, like 16T. So that's cool to see. So it looks, you're going to find some uh, hidden gems in here for sure. MSX, you got 437. MSX 283. Multivision, you got 8. Nintendo 64, you have the whole collection here, 303. Naomi, you got 127. So when you add Dreamcast and Naomi, you got over 200 games. Huge, huge, huge stuff. So you have the Crazy Taxi Naomi version and the Dreamcast version. Uh, Giga Wings, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, all your good stuff here, Power Stone 1 and 2. Sega Tetris on here, and uh, let's see, the Monkey Game, do we have Monkey on here? Monkey Balls on here, nice. Street Jam, Sports Jam, Spikers Battle, Toy Fighter. Uh, Zombie Revenge is on here as well. So you got Neo Geo separated out here. You have NES 864, pretty much all of them. Neo Geo Pocket 9, Pocket Color 40. You got Open Beats of Rage. Uh, these are all, you know, fan-based games. Uh, home Brews, really cool stuff. So you can have fun with that. And I'm sure the controls are all set up for that as well. I know that's kind of the big uh, thing is getting those all running perfectly. 337 PC Engine, PC Engine CD 116, PCFX, quite a few actually. What do you got here? 28. Wow, that's quite a bit. So packing a lot on here. Pokemon Mini. Wow. If you're a Pokemon fan. Ports, you got the full version of Doom, Doom 2, Quake, uh, and Wolfenstein 3D. And you have the Doom port here. Uh, okay, PSP 83. Wow. So this is pretty cool. I mean, these are big games. These are big, big games. So it's cool to see so many. Now, God of War, Ghosts of Olympia. Like, you're going to have to play that with all the hacks on and, and low res. But it'll run. And then here we go. We got Mortal Kombat, Need for Speed, R-Type, Ridge Racer 1 and 2, Tekken, Tony Hawk, Underground 2 Remix. These are not PSP minis. These are full PSP games. PlayStation, 130 games. So, wow. So, when I first booted this up, oh, you got a few couple duplicate CDs there, but that's part of it. You have to have them set up like that to play them, like the Command Conquer. So, you know, just running through this thing, um, you know, as I mentioned, it's overclocked. You can easily turn that off by just pressing start on your controller and going to advanced configurations and changing it. You can add multiple controllers. You can assign different controllers to different ports, you know, first player, second player. There's some light guns on here. We're going to check that out in a second as we go through this category here. Uh, bezels. There is background music. I turned it off, though, to start this image out uh, just because I don't want it to go over my voice and also get a copyright strike. So ScumVM, 87 games so a lot of the recall box images i've reviewed in the past they um 32 actually got 31 we can just go through that they have uh they're you know a lot of uh, french or uh, brazilian uh language you know portuguese or french and uh so this one is created by somebody who speaks english as their primary language so all the roms on here all the scum vm especially those are all going to be in english so off the bat this had a huge uh you know 
he you know he had a huge leg up as far as the if you're an English speaker this is definitely going to be your go-to recall box image I think the biggest you know downside to this is those people who do have a slow internet collection connection oh we're in Sega CD by the way uh, a 114 that's quite a bit that's pretty much majority um, the you know the people who just don't have a fast internet connection you're gonna have the biggest issues 68 on SG 1000 Super Nintendo 1245 Wow, that's a lot of Super Nintendo. I accidentally launched that. We'll come back out. But, um, you know, uh, Wolf knows one of his biggest uh, complaints were, you know, hey, just don't, somebody's going to download this and then sell it on eBay or whatever else. It's really messed up to make a profit off of somebody else's work. Um, so please don't do that. Uh, Super Nintendo, looks like you probably have, uh, yeah, your Japanese games in here as well. So your Super Famicom's in here as well. Solaris, you got your uh, RPGs. Sufami Turbo, you got eight. Super Graphics, you got five. Super Vision, you got 44. Wow, he's got every system on here. Vetrix 24, Video Pack 110. Virtual Boy 23, Wonder Swan 109. So as we go through these last ones, uh, just want to say, you know, and does he have his favorites set up? Oh, so these are just the ones I set up. So it will come blank with no favorites set pre-set up. So you could set those all up yourself. So pinball games, I love pinball games. So cool to see the collection here. So it goes through all the different systems and all the different pinball games. Uh, it doesn't have pinball FX3 or anything like that. Um, but you know, a lot of old school fun stuff. Uh, I thought Microsoft Pinball Arcade would be the little, uh, the old Microsoft, uh, what is it, space, space pinball. Oh, is this, does this work? Space pinball. Oh, a little different. Um, so what I was saying about, uh, Wolf Nose is, you know, he's built some really big, he has like a one terabyte Raspberry Pi image out there or a retro Pi Raspberry Pi image out there. And I know he's got, you know, um, some other images either with, uh, you know, running either a recall box or even uh rocket launcher and some other front end. So he's got a lot of experience with this stuff. And so he's kind of, bringing what his successes he had with the other systems into this one which is cool so light guns let's see what we got here and uh, i don't th i don't know i've never tried to do a light gun on uh let me get to start from the beginning here i've never done a light gun on recall box i'm sure it's very similar because you know it's running retro arch and so you just got to get it uh you know setting as one of your primary controllers and then set it within retro arch you know if it's nintendo you have to set up your zapper super nintendo the super zapper um and then it should you know with mame you just hit tab you go through the main 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 options set it to mouse and it should detect it as a mouse so area 51 should work just fine i just haven't gone through it to do it maybe i'll do that in a future video but that's its own thing um, I also don't know how you would install the drivers. I guess, oh, I guess it would like show up in your ports directory. That's right. And so um, for those of you like, what are you talking about? Well, if you don't want to play light gun games, if you don't have a send in light gun, you don't really have to worry about it. Uh, but with the send in, you're going to have to install the software through, uh, you know, probably through the, the terminal and then it'll go to ports and then you turn on your light gun and uh, it should work. I just haven't tested out myself. It does work for the RetroPie. Now, if you're running a uh, Air Mouse or a, um, you know, the other light gun that's the Aim Track light gun, you, uh, you know, those should set up just like a mouse, just like you would with Retro Arch for all the other stuff. And I've made videos on how to do that, so that's all you do with that. And you could just use a regular old mouse if you want to just use your mouse, uh, or you could use your analog sticks as 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 guns here as well. You have lots of choices with guns. Okay, wow. So, a ton of light gun games. Straight to my heart with this one. Love it, love it, love it. A lot, some people ask, you know, oh, can I download this and then, you know, just take the ROMs off? Yeah, absolutely. But remember, it's running Linux, so you're going to have to either network into it, SSH into it. Um, you know, I don't, it won't necessarily be seen on a regular Windows PC. Uh, but if you're running like a, a Linux operating system, you can see it. Uh, it's just a little bit more extra work, but yeah, technically you could. So let's go ahead and play a game while I finish my final thoughts here. And uh, I want to play, I've already played N64, I already played Dreamcast. Um, you know, let's play an arcade game just because there's a lot of really good arcade games on here. So I'm going to go over to, uh, actually I want to go back to the top. I want to go to the uh, final burn area. Whew. But look at that not a single lag going through the entire wheel here there's probably other uh themes on here as well if you go over here to theme what do we got 
So this is Unified Spin 720p. It also has a couple Dream Box. Let's try Dream Box. Okay, this one's kind of cool. And then when you go into a system, it looks like this. And you can still see the video snaps, I'm sure. There you go. So much more kind of HD, you know, kind of, kind of you know, with this, with the, with the art, with the graphics, they're okay. They're kind of like, to me, like Disneyland or, or Daffy Duck or something like that. Hey, here we go. Where's jump? Cool. Which one is jump? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hey. Oh, that hurt. Where's my jump button? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. it. Let's go. Just shut up and let's roll. Uh -huh. oh, oh, that hurt. Get more attention. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, yeah, we'll be right. Controls are a little... Dude, lighten my um, D-pad here. play Marvel vs. Clapcom. And I believe you can also play this for Dreamcast or Naomi as well. I just want to play the I already played a Dreamcast game, so I want to play arcade games. So you enter your tokens with select, that's your hotkey. I am running an Xbox 360 controller by the way, in case anybody's wondering. And uh, like I said it it um set up really easily. So, um, as I was saying with Nintendo 64, that's just the only thing, you know, you still, this is, you know, I do want to just say this is way better than RetroPie in a lot of ways. Um, now, you might be wondering, like, why would you, why would you pick RetroPie over Recall Box? I mean, they, they each have their kind of benefits and different developers and different things, you know. I think Re RetroPie, if you know what you're doing, it's kind of like an Android, right? You could just do a lot more with it. Um, but Recall Box has gone a long way in that category, so it used to be a lot, there used to be a way bigger difference with that. And, uh, you know, now it's not so much. So as I was saying earlier, if you missed it in the video, I really think the, um, the biggest difference here, or the biggest downside here for anybody, let's start with the cons, is, you know, just the file size. It's a big thing. It's about 475, 480 gigabytes, and, um, so it could be a little cumbersome to download, especially if you don't have a fast internet connection. Now, that being said, I love the 512. We've seen SD cards drop down in price. So for me, you know, it's awesome. You know, I, don't, I see no problem with it. I like those headbangers in the back. So um, it's, it's a large file size, but for me, 512, you can get it for under 100 bucks, you know, and uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 is really cheap. So, you know, getting this whole system up and going is just really easy to do, easier than ever. And, uh, Wolf of Nose just took this to the next level. And um, so besides the file size and it taking a while to download, just think of it. It's just going to make it even sweeter when you finally do get to check it out. So um, huge systems. Everything's optimized. Uh, future updates to be coming, like with the bezel project. Um, a brand new version of Recall Box with the latest cores and everything else. Fully upgradable, you know, you should be able to update Recall Box as new cores, as they update RetroArch, as they update whatever, should be good to go. A uh, couple themes to choose from, background music pre-installed. I mean, what's there not to like? So as I said in the beginning of the video, this is my favorite Recall Box image to date. Uh, you know, really, at this point, my only grimes with it is, is literally the, 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 the hardware itself. I'm digging it. I know you're all going to dig it. Another one for the record books. If you're interested in how to get access to backups on me, I'll put a link in the description. And, uh, you know, like he said, you know, hats off to Wolf and O's. Really, really good work. Hats off to everybody else in the behind the scenes and, you know, making stuff like, you know, the people that make the emulators, RetroArch, Petrol, people working at Recall Box. You're all amazing. The other image builders as well. You know, I'm sure you guys all inspire each other. And uh, it just makes it, you know, 
I, you know, whew, this beats a lot of, ma you know, major manufactured emulation devices, no doubt. So good stuff. Thank you all. That's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.